Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Seed Showcase. Today's seed contains two woodland mansions, two desert temples, and four villages. Oh, and a mushroom island as well, just to throw that in. So let's take a look at the map then, shall we, without imploding your faces with three maps at once, like that. So here's the map. We have a woodland mansion to the southeast of the map, one sort of dead center, and then four villages around sort of where the spawn point is, and then two temples on the sort of west coast and then the north coast of the desert. So let's take a look then, shall we? First of all, you'll notice a fairly large village in front of us. This village right here to our spawn point, a mesa biome off in the distance, another village over there, and that's what you can see from the spawn point. Oh, and the other village is over there as well, so they're all within visible distance, it just depends on the way you look at them. So here's the first one, contains a library house. Aha, uh -huh. so, moving on, we've now got a village to the north over here. Fairly decent sized village with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight farms. Very easy place to get started with your food, especially because you've got all the library books from that village right there. So you can see the second woodland mansion right in front of us here, and I'm going to leave this one for you guys to explore yourselves. We can bust in and take a quick look at this random room that's right here. It's a dungeon room, and then to the sides we've got a long corridor on both of them, which pretty much just is going to be pretty much all the rooms. These are standard rooms at this point. So let's fly out of here, break that so we can get out. We turn our heads to this direction, and we will see the first of two desert temples. So we'll drop ourselves down here, break this, and drop to the side, break that. We have an enchanted book, Thorns 2. Two more enchanted books of Power 3 and Fortune 3. Some emeralds and gunpowder, and a Notch Apple. Wow, that is a very, very good, very good temple. So we can move on from here now as we keep scanning the floor as the daytime comes up. We have the next of the villages over here, and if this blacksmith has diamonds in it, then you're pretty much set for the very start of the game. This is a very powerful seed. In fact, it's even more powerful by the fact that it contains the four obsidian you need to make an enchanting table. So, the last place we need to check is we need to fly over in this direction, and we need to find this last desert temple, and there it is. So, if this desert temple contains diamonds, you guys will have the perfect start to set up an enchanting table in a world. The first chest contains nothing. The second chest contains nothing. This one contains an enchanted book of Plast Protection 3, and this one contains looting too. Not really great, no diamonds off of any of the spawn points, but you'll have to go caving just a little bit to get your enchanting table, but that's fine. And then as we swirl back round in this direction towards the spawn again, we will see the final village. The village is fairly small, it's two houses, but it's more books if you need them. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've all enjoyed, and I guess I will see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye!